Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I've got a great one for you today, so stick around all the way through to the end on this one. You are going to see some angles, some video footage I have never been able to show you before. It is fantastic. I'm just so thrilled with the way this one turned out. Without further ado, let's get into this one. We're just milling beams up, folks. You know what? I do a lot of different things, and sometimes you're milling a lot of one by, sometimes two bys. In this case, a bunch of beams. Eight by eights, eight and a half by eight and a half, six by sixes, four by sixes, you name it. We were cranking out beams for Teresa and Sean over at Wallace Woodworking. And if you haven't checked out their channel or their Instagram, I'll drop links down in the description for you. Awesome, folks. Thanks again for the business. This couple is an awesome, hardworking couple. They do some amazing woodworking. They're building a beautiful house. I think all of these beams were primarily for things like greenhouses and stuff like that. So, um, But I think they were going to be using some in different aspects of the build as well. So I'm going to be really excited to see how those go. But, you know, as usual, you got logs. You need to turn them into lumber. So this is a Woodmiser LP40 portable sawmill in action, folks. I'm going to let the mill take it away for a little while. I'm going to come back to you and talk a little bit about what we were doing. And just wait till you see some of this footage coming up. got that first one off the deck that one wasn't too bad Teresa and Sean were able to carry that one off by themselves not like the last one that took four of them to get it off but now it's time to turn this gnarly one into a nice big beam it's got some 
hooks there that are branches left over, but that's all right. But check out that drone footage and just watch how this plays out. This gentleman was great at flying this drone. It was awesome to get the footage from him. You know, it's a rarity for me. You just don't get to see these different kind of angles when I'm out working on a job. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's just sit back and watch and see how this log turns into a beam and enjoy some of this awesome footage that we got. All right, how about that footage? It was really fun. 
I'll tell you, I didn't notice the drone flying around that much. Um, occasionally, I thought I saw something buzz by. I wasn't really paying that close attention. And honestly, if you're milling, then you've run one of these sawmills, you know you're focused on what you're doing. And one of the things that has been asked of me a lot is if I would prefer a command control station where I didn't walk with the mill or if I would buy this mill again with the control station that I have. And I will tell you, as long as I can walk along with the mill and pay attention to everything there is, and there's no physical challenges for me in doing that. I really do enjoy it. And I think with the debarkers on the new mills that's turned around the other way, so it's not kicking all that sawdust and bark dust at your face, it probably would still be my first choice. There's a money savings there as well. And if you're running a business, you know, it's tough. You're out laying a lot of cash up front to try and get your business off the ground. So if you could save some money and run it this way, I do think that might be the better way to go now as I'm getting older and I'm a bit beat up, I'm a broken old jarhead. I start looking at those command controls and I start thinking, well, maybe if I could stay down at the end and I didn't have to walk back and forth all day long, it might actually be easier on this old jarhead. And so I've got to try one of those out and see how it goes. But in any case, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think of that drone footage. I got more coming out, so stick around. And I'll drop a video in right here. That log was crazy. Check it out if you haven't seen this one. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out.